Hello everyone, this is Yojo, and I've been away for a while because my internet got cut off, but now it's back on, as you can see. Yay! Uh, last night I was hanging out with a friend of mine, and uh, she's a Christian type of friend, and the inevitable pretty much happened. We had the conversation about gay people, and she is mostly, expressively not in favor of non-heterosexuality and it came about in conversation somehow I really don't remember now as she has expressed to me that via the Bible homosexuality is an abomination and I totally understand that and you know whatever but uh, it's like when you when you give the argument of not everyone believes in the Bible to a Christian that's like pretty much a non-argument to them I found even though it's like pretty much true so it's like you know my my arguments always you know out of all these religions that in, that are in existence and religions that don't say that homosexuality is bad why should I go with that one and it's like I wasn't addressing her about her religion because she can believe whatever she wants as long as she's cool with me and I'm cool with her but it's like when you say that it's like you know just because you don't believe in it doesn't mean it's not real and I'm like that can pretty much go for anything which is pretty much an argument for any religion why is Christianity so special in this case but um, she said something much more interesting that didn't have a, a circular argument by circular I mean we pretty much just kept saying the same thing over and over again because I'm trying to get through to her that you know even though the bible says that i believe as an american we should all have the same rights as each other and you shouldn't be okay to discriminate against people under any circumstances she said that uh from some studies that she's seen that most non-heterosexual people have been sexually assaulted and that sexual assault has influenced their sexuality to be homosexual or bisexual or you know non-heterosexual and I believe that in some cases it has uh, sexual violence may have had an effect on how some people perceive their own sexuality but most heterosexuals uh, I just don't I just don't get it. It's like, um, being bi, I wasn't sexually assaulted as a child, and I didn't know anything about bisexuality or even homosexuality until I was a teenager, and I knew I was bi when I was a kid, so I, when I told her that, she was like, the devil deceives or something, and we went back into Christianity, which is pretty much the, the circular argument that never ends because neither side really wants it in because you're just going to keep saying the same thing over and over again because it's religion it's man-made it's a belief it's irrelevant to how people really are especially when it was written so long ago and we're in 2012 but um i'm just really interested in where she got the um the statistics and studies that she's seen that most non-heterosexual people have been sexually assaulted because there are plenty of heterosexual people that have been assaulted and have I guess I could say maintain heterosexuality even though we're kinda of talking about kids that are just learning about that kind of thing at that stage probably when they get assaulted that's like when people say getting sexually assaulted at a young age I my mind instantly goes into being like in that stage where you would kind of remember it but it would still be kind of foggy like between 7 and 10 and now you're like in your 20s or something like that or maybe you would remember it vividly because it was so traumatic and um she said that she even knew a guy that got raped and it confused him because he enjoyed it and I was like have you met any normal gay people that have never been sexually assaulted like besides me being bi and not being sexually assaulted and having my sexuality the way I do and uh I don't I, I, I guess I don't remember her answer to that but I just it's I mean to me it's like she's not I'm, I'm not just gonna talk about her I'm gonna talk about people in general now 
when people don't want to understand something they just they won't anything you try to tell them they're gonna block it out and that's kind of what I'm getting from her and uh, other people that I talk to not I'm not saying everyone some people here are cool but it's like when they have their mind made up about something they're gonna stick with it and that's something to be admired but that's also something that's also very crippling I mean, um, I can tell it. I mean, somebody told you when you were young that this guy came out of the sky and created people and then made another guy that died for you so you don't have to take responsibility for your actions, but you can't tell them that, you know, gay people are just as real as you and I and they have lives and they go about doing and being just like you and they don't deserve discrimination just because they're not heterosexual and that's just totally, it's like, oh my God, mind blown it can't be true this guy that came out of the sky said it's bad but that's me lashing out at christianity and i shouldn't do that but that's pretty much uh, the only way i can see it. it's like when you put a tag on something like that and say because blah 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 said so instead of what you've actually think and what you've actually looked into it really makes you look ignorant or stupid or whatever because apparently ignorant and stupid aren't interchangeable words they actually have their own separate meanings and I shouldn't I shouldn't you know insult people and stuff behind their backs or to their faces but it's like when it's like it branches off from this particular person that I talked to pretty much into a lot of people that I've talked to and a lot of things that I see not just on the internet but in the news and whatnot and it's all just really upsetting to me and it's just it doesn't make any sense and it's like when you when you start off not trying to understand it in the first place because you just have your mind made up and set that it's wrong you pretty much blocked yourself out from anything that would say otherwise and that's really not fair to the point that you're trying to make because if you're going to go so far as to say well I've seen blah 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 and I was like well you know I like to see it uh, she'll probably get back to me on that later, but I mean, it's first of all, this is the internet. Not everything that you see is going to be true, and people are going to say things to only make their point and not maybe it might not even have anything to do with what's actually going on. They just want to say what they want to say and get you to believe it because you're their trusted source because you're connected to whatever. And they're just going to go along with what you say. Of course, I have the otherwise, but mine could be coming from sources that I want to believe. And it just wants to say what I wanted to say. Now, what I would like is the actual truth. But to get statistics on sexually assaulted people and how it's affected their sexuality, that's pretty much too much of a variable because you would pretty much have to track down every non-heterosexual person and then ask them have they ever been sexually assaulted and then they give the yes or the no or something like that which is probably something easy to do in the mail like the census but you know not everybody's gonna go for it anyway and it and it really and it's like when you give an argument like that it doesn't explain the other side like you say that most non-heterosexual people have been sexually assaulted and I'm like well what about heterosexual people that have been assaulted and maintain heterosexuality and it's very much stuff like that now as far as the Bible goes I stopped believing in the Bible pretty much over stuff like that I mean I got I mean Christians saved me from Christianity I will say that because I used to call myself a Christian even though I may not have had a full spectrum of what that meant but his other followers just really pissed me off so I was like okay well fuck all of you and um because I like to be amongst like-minded people I can't be a part of something and the people of it don't like me so I was like well you know if I ever see you guys again, I'll probably set you on fire. But, um, it's just, uh, I mean, the, the Bible is pretty much its own argument. And then, of course, there there's a lot of evidence that the Bible is based off of 
blah 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 which is based off of blah 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 and so on and so forth and I tried to tell her that of course that was a whole different argument and it kept looping back into uh, non-heterosexuals and she I mean I think she kind of threw in um, transgenderism on me and I was like dude transgenderism ain't even the same thing that's a, your gender identity and your gender expression and your sexual orientation are different and that pretty much pulled her off that subject because she was about to go into grounds that we both didn't know about in very very much of a thing but uh I would I'm kind of I'm posting this I, uh, I'm sorry I'm tired I'm <laughs> but I'm posting this I'm posting this raw I just recorded it and now I'm posting it because I want to know what's going on because I have never heard of any statistic studies showing that most non-heterosexual people were sexually assaulted and that is why they're non-heterosexual never heard of it just want to put that out there